hello my beautiful people uh like share and subscribe please endeavor to like share and subscribe um so the, um the demolition exercise that I recently went through um just few would i say few weeks ago uh so the Oba of lagos has won the ebos to respect the owners of the land or cooperate with and compare with san Wolu. you understand anyway i'll give you the excerpt of the news uh just uh come down and listen to the end then i will make my own judgments so the Oba of lagos uh rewan akiolu has charged ebos to cooperate with the state government and respect the owners of the land Akiolu said uh, Governor Sanwolu of Lagos can't deliberately demolish their properties. He spoke this while receiving the President General of Ohanese, Emmanuel Inyawanyo, at his palace yesterday. Some Igbos um, residing in Lagos has cried out that the demolition of, of their property and shops in the, uh, of, in the state uh, by the state government. Uh, they accused Sanwolu administration of ethnic profiling through demolition of properties. However, Akiolu said, We know Igbos are very hardworking, but we have to respect the owners of the land. We have identified the problem in Nigeria. And what we want is a solution. I'm appealing to you in the name of God. The governor cannot deliberately destroy your property. Just play according to the rules. To the Igbos, anybody who wishes the best for Lagos is a Lagosian. I assure the Igbo that nobody will maliciously mistreat you. All of you should cooperate with the Lagos government to move the state forward. Anyway, then let me make my own judgment on uh, this whole stuff. Um, so, um, the other day I saw, is it not this um, Ohanese in the way, ah, why is the name difficult for me to pronounce? Uh, so, he was coming out to say uh, that the Igbo's own stake in Lagos. I don't even understand. The, the general Ohanese in the and you're still talking about that. It's not you to be telling your people to divest, encourage them, look for how to do meetings with the state governors, even if it's to look for one of the states as a safe haven where you guys can start divesting your investments. Of recent, I saw one uh, Igbo boy, what is his name, Stanley, building one of the biggest hotels in Lagos. I was laughing. The other day, I saw one in the north. How many, I'm sorry to say, it's not like I'm um, discouraging anybody. How many Yorubas have major investments in the Southeast? Why is it that the Igbos cannot even lend? Huh? They don't lend. I don't understand. Majority of them, they don't lend. You still see some Igbos, even as we are talking this thing, they will still be building. I'm not discouraging. You see, you see, what the Yoruba, the Yoruba didn't say anything wrong. You understand what I'm saying? But is that a Nyawamu statement me I'm taking? Uh, I have problem with. You understand? Let me tell you before. Before this election, I've always thought of Lagos as maybe some because Lagos is very cosmopolitan, like all the tribes in Nigeria. There, I've always looked at it like a place where I can stay and you know do my things and mind my business. But after this election, it's a change of mind. You understand? Even owning a property there, I won't. It's not because I dislike my Yoruba brothers or sisters, but. I think it's just to develop my own home front. You understand what I'm saying? So hearing Enyawa Enyanya coming out to say that uh, Ibos uh, own Lagos or thereabouts, you are, so Ibos are, are stakeholders in the development of Lagos. For me, I find it very um, destabilizing, especially with the recent demolition. The truth is that let me tell you the truth. I actually um, didn't see the demolition. As um, I'm sorry to say, I didn't see like as an ethnic profiling. But what I saw about the demolition that me I didn't like. Why didn't the government, if the people built on swamp, because the government was showing proof that these people built on swamp, why is the government not uh, didn't demolish it when it was still at foundation level? Then the second one I wanted to ask. I am sure there are people in the Ministry of Lands in Lagos that were chopping money from some of these Zibu guys that built those houses. Because when you want to build a house, anywhere you want to build it in Nigeria, I'm telling you, you will see people that will come from the state and come and be asking for money. They know where all these buildings are. Why? Because there are people that just move around to check whether people are building things or new, doing new development. Why is the state government not punishing those guys? Because well, they're supposed to punish them so that to serve as deterrent. That's how that, that uh, tall building uh, that collapsed in Ikoi that time, that some people claim that Osimbajo has taken. You know, the, the, the way the story died, the building that collapsed in the Koyida killed people. Um, 
it was somebody that gave the approval in lands. So somebody needs to be punished in the lands. It's not only the people that are demolishing the building. If the buildings are actually in the swamp, it should be demolished. That's just the simple truth. It should be demolished. You understand what I'm saying? If the buildings were actually built in the swamp. Because the state government was providing proof. And they were saying that many of them, they have CFOs. But some of the Igbos were saying that they have already applied for the CFOs and they were being delayed. Or You understand? So the thing I'm asking, the question I'm asking is... Why are you still building? There are places you can stay in the southeast and you live a peaceful life. You can actually live in rent in Lagos and do your business in uh, sorry, live in Lagos and build your establish your family in the southeast. It's one your child. I don't know whether you know the popular blogger called one your a woman from Switzerland. She's not living in Enugu. Some of you just come and make up stories. They are let me tell you the southeast is I'm not saying it's uh, 100 percent peaceful, but it's not as bad as some of you are. Uh, Carrying the rhetorics and the news, you understand what I'm saying? There's the whole the whole country is troubled. It's not only southeast. Was it not in a kitty the other day? Some arm ro- uh, uh, arm robbers came and uh, uh, um, uh, scattered the bank. The other day it was Benue. You understand? The other time it was uh, in Anambra. You understand? So it's not only in the southeast that there's problem. It's all over the country. Even in the north, there's still problem, but it has reduced compared to Buari time. You understand? Like I've always said, I don't know whether it's the action of Tinibu or God that just made it. Or those criminals that were killing people under uh, Buhari, they have laid low because they see that it's not their regime. Or they are keeping quiet because Shetima, their brother, is in power. Nobody actually knows. You understand? Or the Nigerian military is more div- uh, more incisive now. So the thing is, I'm just saying is, you can live in rent in Lagos and... Uh, Live in the southeast. Enugu is a Enugu is a wonderful place. Enugu, ha, Enugu is for me is the best place in the southeast. You can build your buildings there, build whatever you want. Live a peaceful life. Nobody will come and be telling you collect proper approval. By the way, so that it doesn't mean that you will start building uh, illegal structures or building shop, shop, shop everywhere. No, follow the plan, follow the law. You understand? And the system will work for you. Because me, I know how Nigeria works. Nigeria is a very funny country. You will buy land. 100 people will come and claim the land. Land that you bought with your money. You will go to lands, bribe everywhere. You understand? There's so much corruption in the system. You will build a house. You will pay for, uh, in, like in South South, like for places like Portacourt. You build a house. You will pay for foundation level. You will pay for lintel level. You will pay for when you're roofing. I'm telling you, the corruption is so much. Even the people you sold the land will come and tell you that... Uh, government to their land there's all manner of stories you will pay and pay and pay and pay and pay and if you're not careful you will spend a lot of money because when they see they can bully you they will come one million times so for me the other didn't say anything wrong but you see the Igbo some of them still have this one Nigerian uh, mentality in mind that they feel like every part of Nigeria is their home place but this especially this Lagos it, it doesn't happen in any other southwest state it's only always this Lagos the epicenter of this tribalism that is going on in Nigeria. There's this certain type of narrative, they always want to make it like, oh, the Igbos are the people that came and destroyed Lagos. So I'm just advising some of the Igbos, some of you that, that can, will listen, start divest. You see, I've mentioned it during the election time. It's not a hatred or anything. It's not divest. I saw it with Stanley Group building big hotel, I was just laughing. These ones are not serious. Maybe as we started building it before the incident, you understand? But people should learn how to divest. There's nothing wrong in it. If people are always, because you see from social media, the social media, what's happening in social media is inflation of what people are thinking. If on social media, people are always saying, uh, uh, we'll deal with you. You see, next election, this madness will happen. With this APC and Tinibu, it will even be worse. They are criminals, so this Tinibu you see that cannot, when he goes into international committee, He's mute. When he comes to Nigeria, that's when he becomes a warlord. You understand what I'm saying? They are they are criminally minded set of people, causing problem everywhere. Instead of them to develop the lives of the people, they will use ethnic profiling to deceive those hungry set of people, and some of them will be creating a lot of madness. So, I just advise the people to divest, take your investments, start taking it gradually. You understand what I'm saying? Start moving your industries. All of you should pull your money together, build, make, you know, create jobs in the southeast and everything. It's lack of jobs that is making people to 
agitate. That is just the simple truth. Lack of jobs and maybe the government not doing the right thing. That is what is causing agitation and poverty. If people are well fed in the country and there's security and there's rule of law, it's people have time to agitate. You guys should do the right thing, no? For me, and I'm not going to take any of this thing in what the Oba said. I'm going to criticize what this uh, Iwanya, uh, the uh, Ohanes and Ibu leader said last time. Start divesting. Just, if you like, listen, if you like to. Let it follow from one ear and go to the other. They say he who has ear. Let him hear. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section.